Oh, she strutted right here for five minutes or more. Yes. Here goes out. See his tail. Got him. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel I've never really done one of these videos before but a lot of you have been asking me how do I get my air rifles to shoot so good how do I find the right pellets for my air rifle or even how do you sight air rifle scopes in so today I'll be showing you all that in a pretty short video hopefully it turns out pretty short and hopefully you all enjoy it so first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna want to try and get your best steady rest as possible and today we're gonna be shooting 15 yards you can put the target as far as you'd like I'd Recommend putting it as far as you're going to be shooting. As you can see here, I have a bog pod. It's the three arm ones, and she's super sturdy. It ain't what I originally shoot off of, but what I'm doing today, it's perfect. So today, for this air rifle, it's the Crossman F4 .177 caliber. We're going to be shooting 7.4 grain Crossman Destroyers and 10.5 grain Piranhas. So the first thing I do in order to find the best pellet for my air rifle which will make it perform the best i shoot five shot groups with each different pellet i have so for instance we'll shoot five shots with piranhas and then we'll shoot five shots with crossman destroyers take a look at the groups and whatever one held the tightest that's what i'll sight my gun in for so all i'm going to be doing is aiming for the direct center of the target i'm not going to move my scope whatsoever no matter how bad the gun shoots or how good it shoots if it shoots high on the right i'm just going to keep aiming in the center of that dot shoot until i shoot all five shots go down change the target and then shoot but first off we're going to start with the crossman piranhas all right i got the air rifle loaded up with crossman piranha 10.5 grain 15 yards so let's start shooting the groups i will say that i don't know how good the camera angle is down on the target i have a gopro down there so y'all can see where the bullets are hitting and hopefully it turns out good so here we go All right, I just now shot the uh, five shot group and then at the end of this, I will go over the gun a little bit more, uh, the optic I have on it and all that. Just in case if anybody's interested in having the same setup. All right, now I'm gonna be shooting the Crossman 7.4 Destroyer. See how they perform. All right, last shot for these. And there's five with the crossman. I'm gonna pull them up. You probably, you probably already know which one shot the best, but I'll pull them up anyway, show you a little bit better. Maybe the sun's glaring on the camera. I'm, I have no idea, so. I'm gonna go down, pull the cameras up here, and uh, we'll uh, see how we do. Okay, over here on the left, we have the Crossman Destroyer, 7.4 grain. Over here, we have the 10.5 Crossman Piranhas. As y'all can see, these shot just a little bit bigger than a thumb group. I have some decent sized thumb, but they're just a little bit bigger. And these are just about the, pretty much the same. About four up in this area, one down here, which could be a flyer. Three down here, two here. If you really wanted to get nifty, you could take a tape measure and really measure your groups out. I'm not like that, I just kind of eyeball them. From me eyeballing it, these aren't too bad, but I kind of like these down here. Now again, as you all can see, I was shooting here. I was aiming here each time, right dead in the center. And uh, no matter where I hit, even when I was hitting up here, I just kept aiming dead center each time. You have to do that. You can't shoot here. You see your pellet hit here, you can't move your scope. You just have to keep shooting here all five shots. And then once you see your groupings, I can just tell, for the most part, this one's tighter than this one. You have one down here, you know what I mean? So only three got really tight. Kind of one down here and here. 
I'll just say I'm gonna go with these. So now that I've figured out which one that's shooting tighter than the other one, I will then sight my air rifle in to try and shoot the center of this dot. So now I'm gonna teach you all how to sight an air rifle. Again, remember at the very end of this, I'll go completely over the rifle. It is a little bit dirty right now. I still haven't did my complete clean. That's exactly why the rifle is not shooting really, really accurate because I haven't did my tearing apart after the whole year is over. As you guys can see, that says this way for up. Over here on my group, as you can see, I'm shooting low. Just from knowing my scope, as low as I'm shooting, I need to come up three clicks. So to come up three clicks, I'm going to one, two, you guys can hear the clicks, I come up three, I just give my scope a little tap. Coming back to my grouping, I'm shooting just a little bit left. I need to come over two clicks to the right. Okay, here, tells you left, this way. Okay, I'm shooting to the left, so then, in order to go to the right, I'm going to go opposite. And then when you want to go down with your scope, arrow's going this way, just go the other way. Just spin it this way. And you'll click a few times, shoot, see where you hit, click down some more, shoot if you're shooting high until you get it there. But I need to go to the right, so all I'm going to do is go the opposite direction of the arrow. And I'm going to click it two. Give it a light tap, and there we go. Now we should be good to go. Let's go out and see where my movements are. All right, we're back up here. Now we're just doing the sight in. So I took one shot. I always recommend every time you move your sights just to take one shot because what that does is jar your scope. So as you can see, we're hitting pretty much where we was last time. Now when I shoot, I haven't moved it. Now when I shoot, we should be in the circle. Okay, still shooting low. So maybe I didn't come down enough. I did make myself a liar. So all I'm going to do, good little practice here, is come straight up. Again, arrow for me is going this way. So I'm just going to go up, follow that arrow. I'll just come up about six clicks, take a shot until I get it. Once I get it dialed in, I'm going to put a, one or two shot shells up there on top of the target. Probably put the big camera on it, put the GoPro on my head, and see if we can't knock it off there. But here we go. Just to be clear, it usually don't take this long. Like if I went up and got the PBA gold, I'd have this thing shooting hole for hole in no time. But again, I'm gonna work with some pellets that may not be as accurate as those because some people may not have that opportunity to get a super, super accurate pellet. So I'm gonna use one that's kind of accurate, but not really accurate. So here we go for another one. Okay, I see it. Shoot to the left, hole for hole. So now we'll just come to the right. Four. One, two, three, four. There we are. I may have come over to the right just a little bit too much. I could come back to the left if I would like, but I'm just gonna leave it right there. Take one more shot, make sure I'm in the center. It's always good to take two extra to make sure you're staying in that one spot. Okay, so good enough to me, hit both of them dead center. It's about the size of a quarter, maybe just a hair a little bit bigger than a quarter. So now I'm gonna go add a shot shell up there, an empty one, empty shell casing, and then I'm gonna put a uh, little old pellet tin can and see if I can't take two shots and knock both of them down. So I'm gonna put y'all down range, see what we can do. All right, y'all, here we go. Just make sure my barrel's clear, yep. Here we go, I'm gonna shoot for that, uh, Red shot shell on the right. Got it. The pellet can kind of fell flat, but that's good. That just makes it a little bit harder to hit it. Gives me more of a challenge to hit it. There we go. Got it. All right, now it's time to go in and go over the rifle and cover a few more things I haven't talked about yet, so. So 
basically just to recap all the steps that I went over today. First step, obviously get yourself a good rest for the rifle. And then you're gonna take the pellets that you wanna try to get your best group with which is super important. You're gonna do five shots, 10, depending on how you are or how many pellets you have. You can do five to 10 shots and then take your best grouping and sight your rifle in with it. And I showed y'all how to adjust your scopes on them, stuff like that, because I know a lot of you have never owned guns or nothing. You just picked up air rifles, first time ever having any sort of thing like this. Sometimes air rifles can be super stressful. Anyhow, I showed you how I do them. Like I say, if you're shooting it, it's not moving, just keep cranking it. And if you're still shooting it and it ain't moving, you probably have a bad scope. I'd recommend, I've bought a lot of big name brand rifle scopes and stuff for actual long rifle guns and had to put them on these pellet rifles. Out of all I've ever had, I've only had one that held out for a while. Pretty much over time, it just busted the scope. It didn't hold zeroing no more or nothing. So I'd recommend getting actual air rifle scopes. Uh, depending on what your price is, you know, go on the internet, go to some air rifle companies or whatever, or wherever you do your shopping, and pick up some actual air rifle scopes. So now, let's take a look at the rifle itself. Again, today I was using a Crossman F4. I have a 4x32 Ruger rifle scope. As y'all can see, it has a super big bull barrel on it. It's a pretty silent air rifle. If you're shooting the PBA Golds, then it sounds like a 22. Then as y'all can see, it has a beautiful thumb hole to help you kind of get that perfect hold and grip that you really need to get accurate with. It is a nitro piston air rifle. I will say that it's a decent air rifle for the price. Now, as of right now, I'm still shopping for better ammo. I really don't want to go back to the PBA Golds. Towards the end of the season, I had some bad experiences while hunting, and if you guys ain't seen any of my squirrel videos you guys can go check them out just go to the main channel go down through and i got tons of them so go over there if you're into that type of stuff if y'all is new here please give me a like and a subscribe it helps me lets me know that you all enjoy this type of content helps me get out there to the people that may be looking for this type of video and if y'all know some friends out there that may enjoy this type of content too send them on over I'm Fish Ohio Outdoors. And with that, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything, just put them in the comments below. So hopefully this will improve y'all's accuracy. I'm your host, Trey, and I'll catch you all on another episode of Hunt Fish Ohio Outdoors. Have a good day.